Hello everybody, my name is Jensen and welcome to episode 163 of All School Runescape Challenges. I'm here with the boy David Tanzi. How are we doing? How are we doing? That's a big number, isn't it? 163. Big 163. Unbelievable scenes. 1 plus 6 plus 3 is 10. I'm a 10 out of 10. This guy in the room in front of us. What the fuck is he doing? Right, boys and girls, this is, I'm going to be honest, right? If you enjoyed the clicks video, you're going to like this video, which is the previous video on Dave's channel. So make sure you go check that out, boys and girls. Tanzu RS. Rules to this challenge, Dave. Listen to this bad boy. You ready for this? Hit me. We will each do five tasks of varying nature. I'm going to go through the tasks later on in the video, but uh, five tasks, Dave. These tasks can be anything. They could be PvP related. They could be PvM related. They could just be general random tasks on RuneScape. The goal is to complete each task with the least amount of steps possible. Steps? Steps, Dave. You're asking me steps. There's actually a rune light plugin uh, which has an on-screen counter which counts your steps. You click once in front of you, you make one, you move one square forward, that counts as one step. So the, the objective of doing these tasks is, Dave, we want to be doing it in the least amount of steps possible. Whoever completes a task with the least amount of steps will get one point. After all five tasks, Obviously, we'll gather the points, we'll do the tallies, we'll see Wagwan. Whoever has the most points will win the video. We can use any items or teleports we like unless otherwise specified in the task. We'll do each task one by one and reveal the steps after all five tasks for added suspense. So uh, we'll, what we might do is we might blur uh, the steps towards the end, bit of a surprise, and then we'll go for each task at the end of the video to reveal who has won each task. Also, boys, on the line for this video, a CC member has kindly donated a big prize fund of 100 million GP to the winner of this challenge. Um, he's not playing as much anymore. Big boy, 40, um, one absolute legend. So thank you very much for that. So the winner of this challenge will take 100 million GP. Boom. That's a lot of money. Big That's boy. a lot of penny in it. Big, a lot of bonds. Also, lads, we have started a new YouTube channel called Tanzu Vitoso Shorts. Make sure you head on over to there and give it a subscribe. The link will be in the description. Essentially, we're just going to be uploading maybe little little clips which don't actually make it in the videos, and also some past classical moments of Tanzu and Vitoso. Darak um, Elm, smell your nan. Everything's all, all the classics. Everything's, all everything's, the classics. Everything's going to be uploaded, so make sure you check that out and give it a sub. Okay, so the first task, Dave, we're going to have to go from Port Tyrus, the Port Tyrus in the Elven Land, we're gonna have to go from there to the entrance of Fenkenstrain's castle in Canafis. I know him well, I know him well. There's no form of teleporting allowed, it's all on foot. Whoever can do that in the least amount of steps will win this task. All right, lads, we are at the end of the dock, ready to run to the castle. I mean, with this one, it's, it's mainly a case of the route. The route is a big, big sticking point if you want to do well in this challenge and keep your steps down. Oh my God, who is that? She can chart at me any day. Anyway, sorry. Uh, yeah, I've got Dave's carcass on my back and I'm going to be carrying it throughout the whole length of the way to the Frankenstein's castle. Um, as I said, it's about the route. I th I'm thinking about going through the forest, coming out near um, the tree known place, cutting over White Wolf Mountain with the Myth Grapple because I'm fucking smart as fuck. Um, and then taking, basically just running all the way through Varrock then. It's pretty straightforward. You just got to make sure you're not stupid with your clicks and things like um, we could get fucked over a little bit by the traps in the forest. So we've got we've got to be careful. We've got to be watching out. Here we are at the dock over at Port Tyrus. Nice little view, actually. Uh, if you look really closely over there in the distance, just like really, really close, just, just get a nice little zoom in on that. Um, you'll see fuck all. So here we have... The Rune Crossbow with a hidden weapon, the Myth Grapple, and I also brought along uh, a bit of company, just so Jen can uh, have a look at him while he's editing this. How are we going to do this? I'm just going to fucking run, mate. <laughs> How else are going to do it? You know what I mean? <laughs> Tell you what, lads, if you uh, saw the last video, absolute banger, we did the same sort of thing, but we're clicking. Seeing this go up at the rate that it's going up is giving me some serious, serious problems, let's say. It's not nice seeing it go up that quick, and yes, I do have... The map up because I'm a clever boy and I was raised well. Am I fucking dumb? I've already gone the wrong way. Why is Jen making me do this? Can I cut through the trees here? Is that. Well, that's probably a wasted step or five. We're just going to nip through David's mother's pelvic region. <laughs> 
Right, the trip wire here. Do not fail it. <coughs> Good lad. I honestly hate this place. Like, the, I have PTSD when I come through this forest every time, I swear to God. Now is not the time, Captain Arav. Unless you want to fucking scale these fucking leaves with me, lad. Go on, do him. What's he? Man's floating. Man's sailing. <laughs> Man's sailing the leaves. I swear, Dan, I'm lost. I can't remember which way I came from. I came from the leaves. Once we got this out, uh, out of the way, it's pretty plain sailing. We just got to hope we don't fail this leaf trap. I shouldn't fail it because I'm stamming up to the fucking brim, boys. Look at this. Right, we're nearly out of, that, out of this shithole and we're just coming up to 400 steps. Um, I know exactly where I'm going after this and wait till you see it. Easy as a pie and I'm not talking about the 3.14 or whatever the fuck it is. Right, there's a couple of um, uh, things that can save us a couple of steps here. Unfortunately, I can't use this one because I have in fact had sex and I don't have 85 agility. <laughs> But there is one up here that I can use, 68 and 59. Climb the rocks. Don't know if this makes any difference. Is that made any difference, that? What is the point in that? Right, the plan is, boys, we're just going to run completely east. If we run east in a nice straight line, we're not going to cut through the market because I think that will actually add on a bit of steps. But if we run completely east all the way to the shores of... You, you all know it. Catherby. We've all been there before. Um... There's a, there's a grapple that we can, it's literally just east now, just east in a straight line. I can't lie, after the clicking video, now this video, I, I've never had less fun playing RuneScape in my life, I cannot, wait, I can't get to the, I can't get to the path from this side. Oh my god, jump over it. It's leaves, mate. It's leaves. Nah, I've lost it off that. So, I, honestly, I'm 400 steps in. I've lost it. I probably just added a good 100 steps easily onto that fuck up. Big time. Where are you going? You dumb fucking turnip. Run. Fucking hell. Wasn't that hard that, was it? Jesus Christ, we made it. Soldier boy. I'm in a bad mood now, lads. I can't. I can't. I cannot lie. I'm in a bad mood. Climb them. Get up there, Jen. Get up there, Jen. Get up there. Scale them. Get up. Get up there, Jen. Taking out my RuneScape character like it's not me being an absolute fucking donut. Right, out the huge gate. That's like the, I wouldn't say the toughest part, but that's the most pain in the ass part out of the way. Why do they have benches here? I've never seen a gnome wander further than the actual gates over there. And they've got benches out here. Waste of space if you ask me. Right, so the goal is here, we need to get to the White Wolf Mountain, and it's just working out what's going to be the quickest way. Obviously, we just cut diagonally past the Fishing Guild, and we just cut straight through Sears, all the way through to the start of Catherby, past the BIs, past the Flax. Probably see Dave on the way, but he picking Flax, doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Remember people used to train here, like, those were the days. It's not like that anymore, because there's... 14 different ways to get an extra 0.5 XP per second. Shut the fuck up. I feel like I'm about going around. When when did the game stop being fun? Like, <laughs> when when did it all become about XP? Where did we go wrong? See, I should be bumping into people here with the Dragon Longsword and shit like that, but I'm just not. And I guarantee there's no one down here fishing. And if there is, they're probably a bot. This fucking guy right here. This guy is doing exactly the right thing. I appreciate that. Grapple. Here we go. This is what we brought this uh, crossbow for. Obviously, you can't do it for me. You're not a fucking sniper, mate. Yes. Right, this has literally saved us going around the whole mountain. See, these guys here fishing. Respect it. There's no one even fishing. I'm right clicking fucking air. Well, let's grapple our way up the mountain. Now, I absolutely love grappling rock hard cocks. I mean, uh, rocks. I meant rocks. I, I like grappling rock hard rocks. It's a tongue twister. I didn't mean to say. Not that there's anything wrong if you want to grapple cocks. You can grapple whatever you want in life. It's <clears throat> if Dave has thought of that of that grapple, fair play, fair play to him. Hiya, Gertrude. No, I can't stop him for a cuppa. I can't, Gertrude. I can't. I'm doing a video. I've got to run. It's extra steps. I mean, you get a good couple hundred done in that bedroom, so I can't be stopping off in there, sunshine. Another cheeky little shortcut here, boys. Dave will not have thought of this. Let me tell you, he will not have thought of this. I'm squeezing through the railings. I'm squeezing my way to the win. I'm not squeezing. I'm going to win tremendously, but... 
Dave's probably not used the rail, but I am railing him in this video. <laughs> right, and here we are. The final countdown. We are at the entrance to the castle. Total steps is... I'm pretty happy. Um, I mean, I'm going to be honest. This was a god-awful fucking task. Whoever created this task is a fucking idiot. I mean, I did come up with the task, actually. But then again, I'm a cunt, so it is what it is. Right, mate. If you can just minimize how many times you're stepping to, like, the left. Like, you're making an unnecessary steps. So I'm happy with Keep the straight lines, mate. Here we go. Let's keep the st let's keep these straight lines. These straight lines are good. But oh, there's a fucking plant in the way. You planted that there. Want to get the diagonals going because they uh, I think they save two two steps. Not really much we can do here. Dave will not have thought of this. Let me tell you, he will not have thought of this. <laughs> We've only just gone past two thousand steps. I think that's not too bad. Uh, I'm hoping this grapple. I think Jen's probably thought about it as well. To be fair, but. I didn't see any other, like, agility shortcuts or anything. Two steps. I'm at the entrance of the door. This is the right place, in it? Thanks, Strange Castle. Could have teleported here. Jen's beat me on this. I feel like he's just been, like, just fucking nerdy, man. You know what I mean? I'm not like Jen. For this task, Dave, we're going to have to do one gauntlet, KC. Not corrupted, normal gauntlet. And the step counter will start as soon as you enter the gauntlet. Right, I can't lie, boys. I'm going to be a rusty trombone on these uh, on the gauntlet. I'm telling you now, I am rusty. So I'm not anticipating big things here. If there's one, I'm, if there's one task I'm going to lose on in terms of steps, it's going to be this one. Um, you've got a way up. Do you go for the two tier three weapons, uh, which is going to obviously cost you added steps, but you might be able to kill the boss quicker. So you're stepping less in the boss fight. There's a, a million and one things which you've got to think about. So I'm just going to dive into it. Um, I'm going to do my best. That's what my my mum said. Just do your fucking best, Jeno, and and things will happen. Maybe not good things, but things. I've also got to try and take advantage of the teleportation crystals. If I maybe buy one as well when I get a few more crystal shards, that can save me quite a few steps, I think. Whilst I get the first few nodes for like the uh, the armor and stuff, I'm gonna try and stay as close as possible to here. Uh, so I'm not running too far as well. Boy, strategy, boy, strategy. I've just remembered as well, ideally, I need to avoid getting the bear. Um, you know, normally as a bottom, I do love the bear. I'm joking. I, as I was saying, I need to avoid the bear because obviously if I'm using the halberd, that's gonna it, it's going to be quite click intensive. I'm going to be running towards the boss to be able to get in the melee range. And that's going to cost us in terms of steps again. So get, there's a little bit of RNG involved. I've kind of got to try and make sure I get the tier three, try and get the tier three bow or the staff. I am like a head teacher on a school strike, boys. You know, I need the staff. I need the staff. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> right, lads, here we are at the gauntlet. Now, you're going to ask me, Dave, have you uh, done any practice runs? Uh, you done any of this? Uh, no. And to be honest with you, I can't really remember how to do the gauntlet. But because it's me and I'm just naturally gifted at doing things like this, um, I'm just going to jump right into it. What I am going to say is we want the staff and we want the uh, the bow. Because that way we don't have to get up close and personal with the old melee and that's more steps. Let's go. Now, can I do the gauntlet without getting like really good gear? Is that something that I'm going to be able to do? Because if I can, that's going to save me a lot, mate. See, I don't want him because he don't drop me the... F he he's melee, in he, him? Fucking prick. Here we go. The Dark Beast is uh, something that I want to be uh, sniffing. No problem, right? We've got the bow. I do need to teleport back to make the bow, but I'm actually just going to float around here for a bit just to minimize the steps. Right, teleport. Right, fuck me. Seven times on a daily. Hello, what are we doing? Oh, that's what we like to see. We love the dark beast. We love the dark beast. Oh my god, next room is a dragon. Unbelievable scenes. Right, there are our potions sorted, so that's all boxed off and done. That's, that's good. Dare I say it, we are absolutely stacked up, packed up, ready for violence. I've got the the level, the tier 3 staff, the tier 3 bow, as luck would have it. Got all this paddle fish here, so, you know, hopefully if we're left stranded uh, in the middle of the sea, I've got the old paddle there for me. 451 steps as well, that's not too bad, I don't think. I mean, I've just got to try and stay still as much as possible during the fight. Do I get the extra fish there? Oh, I'm going to chance it. Oh, but I'm low on health. Nah, I'm going to take him. This could cost me. I'm going to be honest. This could cost me. This is like an extra 20 steps here. Right, just got to remember the mechanics here, boys and girls. Just uh, calm, cool, collected, Jensen. No funny business going on here, pal. Count to four. 
Count to four. That's all you got to do. Count to four. You, you did this in fucking kindergarten, lad. Primary school thing. This is. This is Steps, though. This is Steps. This is my mum and dad's favourite fucking band. This is Steps. Right, we found the dragon, which, uh, I, to be honest, I wasn't even going to look for the third one, but I might as well take it while it's here. I literally think I'm almost set. I just need to find the trees. The trees are what I need. Oh, fucking trees in the next room, boys. Right, I, I think I'm quite happy, you know. I think I'm quite happy with this. I don't think I've got enough food, but I'm just going for it. If I'm not stupid, which, you know, I do have my moments, but if I'm... No, I've fucking got bare food, Dave. Look at that, how much do you need? It would help if I cooked the food. That would help, yeah. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, are these, like, upgraded fish? What the fuck? I'm eating seahorses. I can't remember how to kill this thing. But we're going for it because we don't care. I'm even going to try walk just to uh, minimise how much I'm, I'm thingy in here. Just don't move, Dave. Don't move. You don't need to move. Don't fucking move. See, it's this beam thing that... Oh, fuck me. Go on, see some numbers. This thing's ruining my day. I've just got to hope that Jen just fucks it on this. I've just fucking walked into him. I do not, mate. Do not. Right, these can fucking spark me out. I've seen a lot of hardcores die in this shit. Come on. We... That's it. 580 steps. I feel like that's a little high. I'm going to be honest, I feel like that's a little high. Oh. Done. 508 steps. Boom, boys and girls. The next task, Dave, we're going to have to make 100,000 GP from scratch, starting at the GE. The only thing is, we can't do bank standing money making methods, you know, fletching bows, shit like that. Uh, and we're also not allowed to do the gauntlet, Dave. We've got to be on the move. He's on the saying. move, out and about, in town, buying from shops, selling to other shops, wheeling and dealing, seeing Raldo in our done. Do what you want, Dave. I don't care. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 100k from scratch. Last video, Jen collected these ashes, which uh, is a very, very good idea. Fair play to him. He's even fire making here, Jen. He's even fire making. He's watching me. He's seeing what I'm doing. I have a strat, and I'm going to show you all how you can make 100k, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to be sniffing this gem stall. I'm going to have to hop some worlds as well, just just because of the respawn time, but look at that. And an uncut emerald. We're going to get an invent of this without stepping. And there we have the final one. We're going to travel back to the GE now. How much are we going to get for all these? See, it's not as much as you think. It's not It's not ideal, but it's decent. It's decent. Because about 10k starting cash. I've just fucking stepped. I've just fucking stepped again. This die shop in Prif is unreal. I can't not do it. A clever man would have bought a teleport back to Varrock. But I am not a clever man. The green and the orange are what we're after. We'll just go for the orange. Um, fucking Jen can have some of this. Top it up. Gonna go back to the GE. We're gonna chuck all these on. And then th that is where we're just gonna be... Uh... Where's the fucking tree with the face on it? Where's the fucking happy tree? Holy shit. 17k... Wow. Right, boys, I'm here at the GE. Um, obviously, 100k from scratch. I'm not going to lie. Um, I've just logged in, and there's ashes on the floor. And this is a 300 IQ play. I really do think it is. Listen, stick with me, and you'll learn a thing or two about money making. That's all I'm going to say. All I'm doing here is I'm going to get these ashes so I can sell them and buy a Varrock teleport. Now, I think I've actually got a pretty good strategy to get the 100k with sort of the least amount of steps possible. Skilling is obviously a big one, which is probably one of the best methods in terms of steps however my thought is if i do a mini game teleport and head over to lms that is that's not a <laughs> that's not a great number jensen <laughs> um get some lms points and use that in the reward shop you can actually get some pretty good rewards that's providing i actually get kills um but there is a lot of running involved so that's the only thing which is eh, putting me off a little bit but i'm gonna test it out i'm gonna test the waters uh we're risk takers here over there on the vitoso perspective we're risk takers there's the Varak tab. That means I can get back here without having to, like, run all the way because that's a stupid amount of wasted steps. Oh, we're at the lighthouse. Why are we at the lighthouse, you ask? Well, let me show you. Let me show you. Lads, I'm fucking standing here until he gets closer. Oi! Jossick! <whistles> Come here! He does sell some Beverageinos, and this poison's actually worth a fair amount. As you can see, 700 GP for the poison. I'm going to buy and invent a poison, and then there's one other shop that I know of, which I know for a fact, for a fact, is going to bring in the money. Poison. It says it's 700 GP. I, I'm hoping I can get 700 GP for this. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Um, I don't actually need all this money right now. So what we need to do is get next to a fairy ring. Let's hop over here. There is a flower girl here. She does sell flowers, obviously. It's maybe it's in a fucking name, for God's sake. We go down here. This is a shop that I found in a video fairly recently, to be fair. Uh, I can make the rest of my money here. Like, this place is unbelievable. You have ever wonder where you get these shorts from? G average, 25k. That's, uh, we can try. <laughs> we, get, we got all our money there if they sell. I've just half bashed him. <laughs> is this going to be a free kill? This might actually be a free killer. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know where that came from. It's because I'm shit at PvP, boys, and I've got a kill already. Unbelievable at the game. There's a man. Or a woman. Not to discriminate. Caught the freeze. Nice. She can't handle it. She can't handle the little fakies. I mean, I'm saying she is a man. I'd rather stare at a woman's ass all day when I'm playing a game rather than a man's. You know what I mean? Those type of fucking freaks, mate. Yeah, you've just been fucking pranked by the prank patrol, mate. You ready? Hit! I like it. That chance. That's a chance. You can chuck some more fakes in there, Jensen. You've been too predictable here, pal. Oh, I'm out here. There's no way I'm out here. Ah, that's unlucky, that. I got two points for that. Two points. Right, I'm going to do one more. I've only done 187 steps as well. Let's just uh, sit and wait. I mean, you know what? I'm not going to be greedy. I'm not going to be greedy at all. Let's get 5k each for these. Right, we managed to sell the woven tops. Uh, we're not actually getting that much for him. Um, I am actually just going to dump everything, you know, boys. Not really too bothered. The dye shop is just appealing. I'm going to be honest, boys. The dye shop is just very, very nice. You won't believe it, lads. Uh, I've just somehow tripped over and found myself in the shop again. Okay, this is a bit of a risky one, but I'm going to try it anyway. In this shop, he sells elven gloves and boots for 10k, right? G average. I got told they were 12k, so I'm going to be honest with you, lads. Never mind. 5k G average, 16k. Very specific amount. This is summit that I'm going to have to just leave in a G and hope it sells. I'm sorry, but that die is ridiculous. The price of this die is absolutely ridiculous. Got to wait for shit to sell. Simple as that. We got to wait for stuff to sell. A little bit of trial and error. A couple of things sold. Uh, bought a Camelot tab. We got 55k. I think what we're going to do is just back and forth from the bank to the chart ship. Make 45k from the chart ship with this 55k that I've got. Right, I don't know how reliable this is, but there's about a 400 GP profit on Raw Rabbit. And yes, I'm well aware that I should probably be at uh, the other chart ship place. It probably will save us quite a lot of spaces, but it is what it is. We, we, we've made our bed. We shall now lie in it. All I'm going to say is uh, I hope people like rabbits. Right, we've got 130 rabbit. If this doesn't sell, I have fucked it. Oh, he's not even. Please. Right, we've cut some of the losses here. The rabbit has sold. Eh, not bad amount. Uh, is that actually the price? 230 each. Okay, it's not bad. Um, we sold that. We've got 80k. We need 19.5k. And this has cost me 5. Right, we've bought ourselves a rune pickaxe. And yes, we are in fact going back to Prif. In Prif, there is a mine. And in that mine, I'm assuming is out of your. Just under 1k each. Very nice. Gonna be honest with y'all. Um, I fucked it. I forgot to buy another Verrock tab. Uh, we just need an invent of this, and then we should have our 100k. Now, this should be 20k at least. Yeah, boom. That's it. Be 104k. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Steps. Uh, Jens beat me on that. I fucked it. Let it go. Let it go. I'm running a train on this guy. Is that it? You're in the gulag. Thanks very much for playing. Man's got the sorting out and he's coming after me. Oh, fuck off. Here we go. Looping me round the trees, are we? I see how it is. Oh, I can't be arsed. This guy's beating me. He's too good for me. You ain't as good as you think you are, pal. Look, you're hugging trees. All right, Greta Thunberg, chill out. I'm not going to bother using the broom. It's a waste of steps here. It's a waste of steps. I'll take my three points. Call me fucking Burnley away, lad. I'll take the three points. No no worries. Right, so I got two. I got four points in total. So if I trade Justine, 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 Justine. I think Wilderness tabs are the best value for money. So if I buy the one point each, I've got four points. Give me four. And then if I examine those. <laughs> and as if it was by magic. 
we sell these on the G40k a tab. That isn't it. Listen, that's like when you go out with the boys. You run up a bit of a bill. One, one of you orders a porn star martini. The other one orders 12 beers, couple Jaeger bombs. All of a sudden, you got a 40k tab. Do you know what I mean? Boom. There we go. 165k. I was a bit stupid there because I probably shouldn't have played that last match. And I might have just had enough money, maybe, potentially. But... The amount of steps I've just taken there for, for that amount of money is ridiculous. For this task, Dave, we're going to have to collect five different types of bones. Um, your mother's already got one of mine with her, so you're going to have to... <laughs> Mom, you heard what he's saying? Dave, please. I'm sorry. <laughs> Karen, please. He's just said you've got his bone. Lads, we've got to get five different types of bones in the least amount of steps possible. Now, obviously, the breakdown for this, you know, my thought process, we're going to want to focus on monsters, which are close to teleport spots. Um, so that's going to reduce our steps massively. Uh, I'm also going to be utilizing Telegrab. I'll be very surprised if Dave's come up with this because this is a 300 IQ play. I'm going to be honest with you. You know, Jensen again coming up with the Unreal plays. Water is wet. Jensen's a genius. Yada, yada, yada. I got a few other things in the event here, which you're probably wondering, Jen. I don't know what they're for. You're going to see through the video, boys, how, how much of a fucking genius I am. So, first off, we're going to teleport to Caril. Uh, Caril is actually the slang term for cannabis. Now we're in the pub. You're thinking, Jen? Beer? No. Wolves, mate. Vera? Slap her up. She turns into a wolf. Jen, why are you killing werewolves? Wolf bones. Jesus fucking Christ. I've not even stepped yet and I've got one bone. If there's one thing I love in life as well, boys and girls, it's a good bone. Wolf bones, done. Next up, I'm teleporting to the Mist Guild. Now, this is where... Right, I swear I can get a closer teleport than that. Surely, I've teleported right outside before. Give me a sec. It's counting the steps! Robin bastards! Right, we're going to go down here, and there are actually baby dragons as well as normal dragons. Um, just to the west here. So the plan is, this is where a lot of the steps are going to come into, into into play now. We're going to run past here. We're going to run to just here in between. And that way we can snipe um, both of the red dragons and also these motherfuckers as well. So 42 steps. 42 steps, we're going to have three bones on us. That's, that's, a, that's pretty good. Right, there's the main dragon down, and now I've just got the baby to do. Can I get that round the corner? I swear to God, if I've got to walk out to get that, I'm going to be absolutely seething. Fuck! Fuck! Fuck, stop! Oh my God, I'm panicking. I'm going to lose my job. Next, we're just going to get some normal bones, teleport to RD in the market, kill a guard. It's simple stuff. One shot, boom. There is the fourth bone. We're, we've only got 46 steps here, so this is oh, this is going to be quite a few steps here. So we're going to wear our Draymond staff. We're going to go to House. We're then going to go to Mud Skipper Point. Stop. Right, we've used the fishing explosive on the spot, and then this is going to drop us a big bone, our final bone of the five, and that will knock us off at four steps. I think that's pretty good going. I think that is pretty good going. For five different types of bones, I'd be very surprised if Dave has beaten that. Boom. I've planned the shit out of this. I'm going to be honest. I, I can do this all in less than 70 steps. Se Sorry, say that again. 70 steps, Dave. <laughs> yeah, correct. Let's move. I have got a hidden little secret up my hand, my sleeve, that I guarantee Jen has not thought of. I guarantee it. I've got to be honest. In my practice run, there was a bat in here. And the bat is no longer here. <laughs> here we have a bat. We're going to go on long range. We're going to drink super thingy. I'm going to shoot the bat. You think I'm stepping to pick that bone up? P incorrect. Zero steps, one bone. If we go down here, we're still on zero steps, lads. We're still on zero step. We have not physically moved. If we click about, about there, we click about there, maybe my 70 steps was a bit optimistic. And there goes the red dragon. We turn around, we shoot the green dragon. There we go. Bone number three coming in is going to be the baby dragon bone now next up we might as well just go uh lombridge actually we'll go lombridge there's a man here and he's going to come out there's actually a man here as well we'll shoot him yep there we go bone number four has been grabbed and final place for the fifth bone is going to be the dark beast now i did originally go to the terror dogs but when you went down the stairs for some reason it gave you 80 steps whereas this place just gotta go down here Let's kill this uh, dark beast and we should be looking. We genuinely should be looking at 
steps. Not sure why Jen allowed teleports on this. You just look for the nearest thing to the teleport, and this is the best I came up with. Unless if Jen's beat me, that's fair play. I think I personally think this is very good. Is it seriously died around the corner? I can't telegrap that. You dickhead. Why? Why? Oh, whatever. Steps. We'll take steps. Right, Dave. The next task is we've got to complete one run each of the Sorcerer's Garden. So that's the Winter Maze, the Spring Maze, the Autumn oh, wow. Maze, and the Summer Maze. Oh, mate. We used to do that back in the day. Back we used to pick day, up the pint glasses off the shelves. The step counter will start as you enter the first gate to whichever one you want to start first. And it's also going to be to the tree, Dave, where you get the squirk juice, not the herb. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we're here in the Sorcerer's Garden, the Magic Garden. Now, I'm going to be honest, um, I'm pretty familiar with the winter and the spring maze um, because it was actually part of a potential battle royale strat, which we had, which ultimately crumbled however i am pretty well versed so i feel like i'm going to go through those fairly easily without any hiccups uh, the issue could come with the other two with the with the spring and the summer may so fingers crossed i mean that being said we me and dave could genuinely end up with the same amount of steps here if we don't both don't fuck up but i have a feeling that there's going to be some kind of fuck up here and this could be pretty rage inducing so we're just gonna have to see how it goes i think right i need to try and remember what the situation is here to be honest with you let me go over here Okay, 11 steps. That's all it takes. This is, the, this is the tough bit here. You've got to wait for these two little fuckers here. I should have gone then. Jesus Christ, that was perfect timing. I should have gone. I'm hoping Dave gets a bit panicky. Maybe he thinks he has to go. Maybe he doesn't take his time. If you take, if you take your time with these, you can easily get through without a fuck up, without failing and going back to the start. Here, here. Pick. I've just done an, an extra step there. That's not good. 45 steps. Boom. First one. Done. Completed. Again, I'm pretty well versed with this one. This should be good. Nice and simple clicks, Jensen. Nice and simple clicks. We go through here. We pass. We pass like wind, boys and girls. We pass like we're passing wind. Back's turned. We loop in. Back turned again. We loop in. Oh my god, that was close. Oh my god, that was close. I'm a bit late there. I'm a bit late there. Boom! Do you know what I mean, boys? I'm fucking sick of this. Mazes and shit, mate. Call me Maze Runner. The Toso Maze Runner, they call me. They don't call me that. Here we are at the uh, the garden. I'm going to go north, east, south, west. The last time I did this was literally back in the day. And I think it was actually this one. I haven't looked at a guide. I don't know the safe spots. I'm just going to wing it like Overmars. End of the day, lads. It's about steps, this challenge, right? So it doesn't really matter if I just take my wee time. Can I go there? Is he going to spot me if I go there? Watch this. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm unreal, man. I want to test some here. I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna risk 35 steps here. Does she spot me? Okay, she doesn't spot me. Right, I know, I know exactly what I'm doing. Alright, what are we doing here? This is a bit tricky. We need to get in the... Oh, oh, oh she's a figure of eight, lads. I think I've located the safe spot. I think it's one of these two here. If you right, lads, look, watch. He stops there, so we don't. We could go, maybe not that one. But this geezer's is not really asked. Shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, it's simple. It's simple. We need to wait for you to fuck off down there, and we need to wait for you to. Ooh. Ooh. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that was fucking close. <laughs> that was close. This is the one that I used to do loads back in the day. If I recall correctly, this straight away is a safe spot here. Mate, if like 10 year old me could do this, then I can do it now myself. If I recall, you need to get in this one here. And then I think you go over to the end over there. I fucking hate myself. Oh my god, I did it. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh, you donkey, Dave. You donkey. And then when he passes me. Unreal. Best in the game. Who needs a guide for this? Common sense, lads. Right, we're in the spring garden now. And safe to say after those first two runs, I've got a little bit of a spring in my step, boys and girls. <laughs> We've got to watch three here. We've got to keep our eye on three. Just giving birth to triplets, boys and girls. We've got to watch three of them. When can I realistically go here? 
Sit there. Sit there, you little fuck. We hit the deck. Nice. Nice, Jensen. She's fucked off. As is she. I'm the best at the game! I'm the best at this shit. I'd be getting fucking 5 mil even XP an hour if I was doing this for XP. Summer Ray. Okay. 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 Think. Think, Jen. Think! Oh my god, I clicked way too early. Then I clicked way too early. Can she see me? Fuck. Alright, let's watch it. Let's just watch for a minute. Because I'm trying to work out what the fuck's going on here. She's doing like a squiggly pattern. She's like, she snakes around it. She d she does the Dave maneuver around the hedges. She does the snake maneuver. Safe as houses, boys. Safe as houses. All right, I'll just work them. How the fuck did I... I need to get here. She patrols around here. Can I yeet through there? Can I just get clean through? Wait for it. Wait for it. Now. <laughs> the cover of the king with the mazes! No, this is the one I used to do. This is it. Yes. Now I know. I remember. I feel like I've only like done like one misclick as well. I'm actually feel like I'm doing quite well here. It's got a lot of hidey holes. I'm not talking about the clue scroll lads. Well, I actually think this one's quite hard. This part. Because I think you have to... Oh shit, yeah. You have to get here, but I can't remember how to get here. That's a bit late. That's a bit late. That's a bit late. You have to get in here. Remember that. Yeah, easy. We've done this one. 287 steps. Not bad. Pick the tree. Boom! I have never done this one. And I've never done uh, those two either, actually. But I've never done this one. I feel like this one's going to be quite hard. Just look for the safe spot, Dave. Just look for the safe spots. Okay, so we've just got to navigate these. Oh! Okay. That was uh, interesting. Right, I feel like I've been, I feel like I've messed up on one step, just one. Right, and we are back after the five tasks. David, how did you find it? You know what, I, I actually found it alright. I don't think I've messed up that much. Do you not? I think there's one or two where I've messed up on, but I'm going to be honest with you, Dave. I think I've got you beat here, got you beat. You see, I mean, mm. the, the 100k was a bit questionable, but like the, the garden and the gauntlet, I feel like I've done alright on. Right, well, let's get into them. Right, so first one, let's go with the uh, the run from Port Tyrus to the Frankenstrain's castle. Put down in the chat now how many steps it took you. Three, two, one, we'll count down. You ready? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like you can't really go wrong on this one. <laughs> well, <laughs> right. <laughs> well. Three, two, one, go. That's that's easy. Where you fucking detoured to the ports are in... Lad, I shoot, took lad. the wrong fucking agility shortcut and it just completely sent me. What agility shortcuts are you taking? The one in the forest. I went through some fucking trees, lad. Next thing you know, I'm in the middle of a forest. That's no fucking rocky, tinderbox. Mate. That's no rocky. food. As if you, lad, if you, as if you can't navigate that forest. That cost me about that. I up there, lad. Back of my hand. Next task day, if we're going to go for the 100k from scratch, whack that in the chat box here. I'd be very surprised if you beat me here. Yeah, I'm not too happy about this one. Right, three, two, one, go. <laughs> what? what were you doing? You fucking idiot! What are you doing? Do you want to know no, what I did? Re Go on. You didn't just do like one thing, did you? Went to fucking LMS, lad. Did two games, bought two wilderness tabs, and I was fucking gone, lad. You. <laughs> what do you mean wilderness tabs? The, you can buy wilderness tabs with uh, the points. Are about fifty k each. Went in, got a kill. <laughs> did another game, got a kill. Two oh, points. Rewind. First of all, you got a kill. <laughs> <laughs> Second of all, you what? Did you just fight and not move? Yeah, I was just like playing the game. Lad, it only took me two games. You don't move a lot in LMS. You start next to someone. Three inch IQ play. I've bought some dice, mate, and stuff like that. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Is, right? No, I didn't want to be boring, so I did a load of different methods. Oh, you didn't want just to be boring, but you were sat at a shop buying fucking orange dice. That, not just orange dice, Jen. I was buying <laughs> shorts. I was buying blue shorts. I was buying just everything, Jen. I was buying cider. Next one, Dave, we're going to do the five bones. So get that yeah, in the chat. No way, there's no way you beat me here. No yeah, way. I think this is going to be no, close. No way. No way. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it's close. close. It's six steps. It's, close. it's six That's fucking close. steps. That's got, I thought you'd be well over 100. Next one, Dave, we're going to go with the garden, the sorcerer's garden. Um, this is one that I feel like I only messed up on one bit, which cost me two steps. I feel like I nailed this. 
Three, two, one, go. Get in! Nah, fuck off, man. Get in! Oh. 21 fucking steps. 21. How? Right, that makes it two all, Dave. So it comes down to the final task, which I've got down here. The gauntlet, David. The gauntlet. Oh, fucking hell, please. Please. Right, put it in the chat, Dave. You ready? Three, two, one, go. What? <laughs> no! He's done on step kick in the game! That's rigged. That's rigged. How is that I rigged? Want I want a recount. The... What do you mean, recount? It's a fucking add on. One point! <laughs> Just from one point. One step. One step. <laughs> this looks that's so bullshit. rigged. It looks so rigged. And that's rigged, mate. No, it's that's not rigged. rigged. You've got fucking spies. You've got spies. I've got no fucking spies. I've got eyes, lad, and I can see I beat you by one step. <laughs> lad, this looks so rigged. It does. It, it looks so rigged. dodgy. It looks so fucking dodgy. I don't even like. I don't even know how to like it. The thing to that is we've done un almost 170 vids and this has never happened. There was one where I won by about 2k. Two grand. 2k, like yeah, 2K. 2 grand. This is the closest it's ever come. And with that one step, David, that one step has cost you a 100 million GP prize fund. Uh, obviously, this was, as I said before, kindly donated to us by a member of the CC, uh, Big Boy 40. So thank you very much for that. You know, I didn't ask for it. He, he reached out. He was like, I'm not playing as much. Use this as a prize money for a challenge video, so big ups 4D. So, um, <laughs> I guess you could say this I mean, on yeah. your mind, David. I actually can't believe one step has cost me 100 mil. <laughs> you know what's wank? Not being able to afford tissues because I've got no money left. <laughs> 100 mil. 100 fucking mil. Right, boys and girls, thank you very much for watching this episode of Old School Escape Challenges. Please make sure you like, make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Also, as I said in the intro, check out the Tanzu Vitoso Shorts channel. Uh, whack a subscribe on there if you want to see some uh, old classical clips of the dynamic duo. Lads, I, I want a shot at winning some of that money back, so get your challenge videos down below and uh, tell me what I can do to win a bit of money back. <laughs> see you in a bit, boys.